Hi guys, just want to give you a tip when you're plastering, uh, if you're doing sort of repairs where the joints are not very neat and you know you sort of just just sort of cut it in um, quite roughly which which is there's nothing wrong with that as long as you don't leave like huge gaps like 50 millimeter or something like that so I mean you know all of that uh, there's, there's all kinds of stuff happening here but uh, so you might be able to see that there's plenty of gap between the the joint in the joints and whatever and, and because the joints are not straight there's a bit of waviness and whatever so when you cut the new plasterboard sheets out um, they, there's never, they're never going to be perfect uh, so there's always going to be some gap there and you really should pre-fill these gaps before you put the, before you put the tape on so and and the best way I found is not to use actual base coat because base coat doesn't have as good immediate adhesion and it's it sort of um, it it will sort of just just drop down and won't won't stay in those gaps yeah uh, in those sort of bigger gaps and um, what I'm using is actually uh, corner cement, you know, because corner cement is designed to to stick on immediately, pretty much, and it's uh, much tackier than than base coat. And uh, you know, you can sort of put it on <laughs> very thick like this, you know, and and it's uh, you know, you don't, it doesn't doesn't matter the consistency even if even if you made it a bit runnier than this i mean it would still stick stick to itself and you know it wouldn't drop down and it sticks to the to the plasterboard pretty much as soon as you put it on so it won't be dropping down out of those gaps and whatever you know just whack it in and uh, that will not be coming out in a hurry. So I mean, this being a these are these are brick walls. So I mean, there was a lot of structural cracking here, and uh, with brick walls, you know, like you can't really try to. Like if there's movement, then then you're you're in trouble, you know. So you're just you're just hoping because the owners have actually done some sort of structural work on on the house to to sort of ensure that the the walls won't be moving in the future. And we're just going to hope that that's that's going to be the case. So I mean, I did go in behind the plasterboard and. And uh, you know, dug out the bigger cracks in them, in the brickwork where I was, where I sort of whatever, wherever I opened it, wherever I um, removed sort of cracked plasterboard, and and you know, I sort of went in behind it and um, and uh, filled the the cracks in the in the brickwork with mortar, and you know, that would add add a little bit more strength uh, to the structure, but um, you know, it just. If you just uh, just sort of fix the plasterboard on top of the brickwork, the plasterboard is uh, not strong. So it will as soon as there's movement again in the in the walls and and the bricks are sort of uh, coming apart, then then the plasterboard won't be able to 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 sort of withstand that stress and it will crack again. So we're just hoping that that the structural work that that has been done. Is is going to be is going to hold up and uh, the house will stop moving. I mean, it has hasn't moved uh, hasn't been moving much for all, since since they did that work uh, about a year or a year ago or maybe a bit more. But anyway, so that's just uh, a bit unrelated. But I, well, but my point here in this video is if you've got these sort of big cracks and you might have tried in the past to sort of fill them with base coat and you notice that oh the base coat will just sort of trickle down behind the the plasterboard and it will just won't stay in place because it's not 
tacky enough. It doesn't. It doesn't have have good enough cohesion. Um, so I suggest you use a uh, corner cement instead, and you'll be very happy with that because uh, you know the stuff will stay in there. And it's a uh, it's a uh, pretty much a very similar product. It's strong as and uh, it won't um, it won't fall off or anything. It's hard and strong. And and then after you've done all of this pre-filling, then you know the next coat will be a base coat with tape. So you know you're still going to tape it in and use base coat and whatever. But uh, just the pre-filling of this, all this all these sort of big gaps, I suggest you use uh, corner cement instead. Okay, hope this helps. Have a good day. Bye.